Dubai is certainly taking the lead to create a regulatory framework to make a market, but how would you generalize the regulatory environment across the rest of MENA? Okay, so, I mean, Dubai has, you know, they've started out with their regulations um, and it keeps on improving and it keeps on, you know, uh, reformulated re depending on what's going on in the sector. But look at Bahrain, for example. I mean, Bahrain has truly been the leader uh, because they were the first to have onshore regulation for uh, crypto exchanges in the region. So the first crypto exchange that ever came out of the region came out of Bahrain. And it came out with the blessing of the Central Bank of Bahrain. This is something that's still missing, for example, in the UAE. Okay. But elsewhere, <laughs> it's a vague... <laughs> I mean, they're still studying it. They're still looking at it. So Saudi Arabia, you know, uh, they haven't done anything on the crypto side. There were uh, insinuations that at the end of the year, they would come out with a tokenization regulation. So we're waiting to see if that happens. Uh, in Qatar, they just started with their like blockchain um, and the idea of tokenization. Nothing's, nothing's been done yet. Um, Egypt's no go, Lebanon no go. I mean, these are the only two, the only two biggest entities uh, that have done anything in this regards has been um, UAE and Bahrain, um, and that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with us. We also produce a weekly newspaper packed with the latest Web3 news from emerging markets. The link to get access is in the description below. And if you really like the video, share it with your friends and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for supporting the channel.